I'm gonna try something different. Cause I'm different. <laughs> I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna tell you a little story. Oh my gosh. A little story. A little brown boy story. All right. So this story is three different stories in one. Right. So one deals with friendship. One deals with love, and the other one deals with heritage. So let's start with friendship. I have this friend by the name of, we're going to keep his identity secret, his name is Tweety. And he and I have been friends for about three years, right, he's my friend. They call him Tweety, because, well I call him Tweety, aka Tweety. Because um, he has his little, uh, I, I won't get to that, anyway. So we're chilling, we're chilling outside of In-N-Out, and the basis of this story is basically how you accept friends, even though they're like the most unappreciative, unfathomably hurtful <laughs> people. You know, but you still love them. So Tweety and I were talking about talking about math because we both go to Pima Community College, Woo! PCC, and he was telling me how how much I suck at math. And I told them, shut up. <laughs> but this is, this is real because we were going back and forth. I was telling them, you're stupid. You wear those stupid short shorts. You're not even fashionable. He was like, shut up, you're brown. And they just, yeah, he went there. He's, he's a light-skinned Latino, you know what I mean? Those light-skinned Latinos, man. Anyway, so we were talking and then, I, you know, I tell him, you know what? I'm going home. I'm walking home. Because he was my ride. <laughs> And he's like, nah, 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 baby boo, because he calls me baby boo. <laughs> and I turn to him and I'm like, you are the most evil light-skinned Latino I know. You don't even appreciate the fact that I'm trying to, you know, better myself at community college. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get out of the hole, this shit hole we, we live in, right? And he's like, nah, baby B. <laughs> And I looked away, but then I realized, you know, these are the nights that make friendship worthwhile. So I turned around, like, you know what? Just take me home, man. <laughs> well, we'll just we'll just duke just it out another day, home. right? So that, that takes care of friendship. Now, there's no there's no resolution in this. <laughs> um, I'm gonna talk about love. Love, love sucks. All right. Sometimes. Never Shout out my baby Z over there. With my girlfriend. Um, all right, I'm done with love. Let's go to hate. Uh, love is hard to talk about. Love is hard because it's complicated. It's messy. It's nice. It's it's warm. It's fuzzy. Then it's cold. You see movies about it, and it just it's like it sucks. But then you're like, cool. I, you know, I went through love. It's, it's all right. 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 You know, but this is coming from a brown boy. Like, love is hard for brown boys. You know what I mean? Right? Right? All right? Brown boys. My posse, I brought him out. I'm like Kevin Hart. And then my posse. You're for dinner, and you're like, nah. This is my time. Shut up. My time. Who has the mic? All right, so heritage. I wanted to do this real quick. Uh, I was I was, um, I was was light man for Club Congress the other day at uh, my friend's little DJ set. And so I was out, uh, they gave me a coupon, $20 coupon to go eat. And, yeah, a little, little sick. Uh, and I'm walking, and then I get all these weird stares, because I'm like the darkest one there, like walking around the restaurant. I'm like, what can I get seated, lady? She's like, you can go outside and wait for me out there. And I was like, all right, someone's salty tonight. So I go outside, I sit down, and it takes about like maybe half an hour to even get the menu, and then another half an hour to get the water. So I'm like, what? What the hell is going on? You know, why are they treating me so salty? Like, I'm, I'm charming, you know, I, I'm not dangerous. I, you look, look at me, you know? And so, I wait there for about an hour, and then they bring out the menu, and this, you know, lady, I, I assume she's white, can't assume, right? So she's like, hola, me llamo Stacy. I'm, I'm covering her name. And she's like, I, don't, I, I want to protect her. I'm just saving her. Right now. I don't remember her name. Anyways, so she she gives me the like the whole thing in Spanish, and I'm like, I want the the cheese quesadilla, please. <laughs> and it's like the whole night they were trying to like translate it for me. I'm like, 
like the stash gives it off, but like I speak English, you know? And I, I don't know if you saw it on Twitter, I go on mad rants on Twitter, right? I'm like, what the? Yeah. I speak the English, you know? I speak the. I grew up in Salt Lake City, Utah, so I know the English, right? I'm not even from Tucson, you know? But I rep it, right? Butter and what's up? Anyways. Um, so yeah, so I was chilling there. I was. <laughs> gang signs. <laughs> So I was chilling there and I'm like, you know, I, I really do not like this. So I was like, you know, I'm giving you a dollar tip because the cheese quesadilla was really good. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm out of there. That wasn't even cheap. It was like $7. I'm like, you're, you're cheap. I am cheap. I am cheap. I don't tip as much as I should. Don't tell your waiters. And so the point of this is that heritage is hard to deal with because, you know, we live in America. So... Rock on. That's a good way to get to All right. When I said I had no idea what he was going to do, he said he, there was no resolution. I still so, don't know what the hell he just did. 